So here is Muscle Tech Premium Whey Protein Isolate, chocolate flavored. We've reviewed, uh, I think it was called Pure Protein, and it, it was a super high quality protein powder and amazingly light taste. But the pr drawback of that protein powder was the price. It's just expensive. But seriously, if you have the money, that, that stuff is great. This, on the other hand, is me trying to find a cheaper supply of protein because there's all sorts of different recommendations if you're weightlifting or doing any of that about how much protein you should actually be taking each day. Apparently, it's quite a bit. I was looking for a cheaper supply of protein. And I think this ran about $34 at Sam's Club. And I don't think it was the cheapest available, but it has a pretty high serving size of um, protein. So 32 grams right there. I don't know if that's visible on the um, camera or not. It's shown right on the front there, but um, you know, I'm trying to show off some of the nutrition information here. You know, the, the scoop on this is pretty big and I'll show a clip of mixing it into water just so you get a, a sense for how big the cup is as well as how well it mixes. The, it shows you a couple different ways that they suggest it. You can blend it in the blender with whatever you want. Ice, juice, fruit, peanut butter. That seems like it would be difficult to do in the blender. Anyway, uh, you could shake it in a shaker. If you're a bartender, I guess that would work really well. Or you could start in a glass of water or milk. And stirring it in water is actually how I do it, just because it's quick. And after I've lifted weights, I'm a little tired and just want something quick. Well, I mean, you could always have stuff made up, but my situation, I just mix it with water. I see that it's got their BCAA blend. I don't actually know what that means, but it looks like it has several different amino acids in there added to probably balance this out. The main f factor that got my attention on this was cost to protein value. And so a lot of us today are very limited on cost and that is why my focus came here. We're in the kitchen now. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the powder. So what it actually looks like inside. That's why we're zoomed in like that. Okay, so there's the powder. And as far as the scoop, there you go. There's my hand. So you can see that is a big scoop. That's really big. So we're gonna mix this up because at least for me, one of the big decision factors as far as which protein powder to use is actually how well it mixes. The other one is how well it tastes because if you can't take it the way you want to mix it, then it's not really all that useful to you because you're going to gag on it. Unless you're amazing at, at choking the stuff down, but do you really want to do that? All right, so got this and it comes out as a pretty big thunk in there and holds together really well and i'll show you pouring over it see it kind of uh, pushes the water away so yeah that the mixing is not the greatest on this here i'll stir it and show you how it works out but, as it says on the back, I think I showed you that in the clip before, that uh, blending it is actually considered the most ideal way to use this. And, yeah, I could totally see that. But if I'm trying to go quick, I just want to dump this in water, mix, and drink it down. And this stuff, it works like that. It's a bit chunky, but it works. And part of it is that there's so much... I mean, you're doing getting 32 grams of protein in there. It's... It's a big scoop. It's not the most refined that we've seen, like that, that pure protein stuff. That stuff is beautiful as far as nothing added and how well it dissolves. But this, it has the flavor added and also it's a bigger protein shot. So you can see there's a few chunks of protein on the, the spoon there and that in the cup, they float a bit. But 
it doesn't taste bad. I mean, it, it's not like a chocolate candy bar or anything, but it definitely doesn't taste bad. So as far as something that you can use on a consistent basis, this is definitely something you can use. So being an affordable protein and being something that you can use, it's great at. It's not beautiful at the other things, but if you don't need it to be, why spend the extra money?